we have a political message that is going viral, and it's going viral for <laughs> all the right reasons. Going viral actually is a good thing here. Yeah. And in an arena that is often so divisive, it offers a glimmer of hope. The opposing candidates running to become Utah's next governor appear together in a series of ads calling for civility and politics. All right, and in less than one day, their message has been viewed by millions of people. Take a look. I'm Chris Peterson. And I'm Spencer Cox. We are currently in the final days of campaigning against each other to be your next governor. And while I think you should vote for me. Yeah, but, but really you should vote for me. There are some things we both agree on. We can debate issues without degrading each other's character. We can disagree without hating each other. And win or lose in Utah, we work together. So let's show the country that there's a better way. My name's Chris Peterson. And I'm Spencer Cox. And we, we approve, approve this message. message. Mm. We all do. Oh, Lieutenant yes. Governor Spencer Cox, a Republican, Chris Peterson, a Democrat, are with us now. Gentlemen, good morning. It's good to have you with us. Good morning. Good morning. Well, I'll start with you, Lieutenant Governor Cox. Have you been surprised at the reaction this has received? Well, we, we thought maybe it would get a little bit of attention, but certainly not this much attention. And, and you know, there's a couple ways to look at this. It's, it's really sad that saying we should treat each other with, with kindness and decency goes viral. Um, but at the same time, it's really restored my faith in the, the American people that, that people are hungering for decency. They're tired of the divisiveness. And uh, I'm certainly hopeful that that means there are better things to come in politics. Well, Mr. Peterson, I was actually trying to think of when was the last time I saw two two people from opposing parties just even joking around together, enjoying each other's company. And to watch you guys on that ad was completely refreshing. So whose idea was it? How did it come to be? Well, we've been talking uh, throughout the campaign. I think we commiserated a bit before our debates and whatnot. And I think maybe the initial idea was probably from Spencer, but as we started to come together, I, I think it, it just gelled and we, we put it together quite quickly. Uh, and I, I'm really excited that it's something that is helping people feel some comfort. It, it's not that we don't have disagreements, we really do. But uh, the truth is, I think we both genuinely like each other. Spencer's a great guy. And we have to remember that we all have to get along after these elections. Mr. Peterson. So did you know um, Lieutenant Governor Cox before? Because I got to tell you, you guys yeah. have some chemistry. Yeah. You'll and I see, I don't know, I know you, apparently politics is, politics is your thing, but I think a TV show, you guys really road. click. <laughs> but anyway, did you have a, a, a relationship that you were kind of building from that enabled you to keep your race so civil? No, no. I think I think we're both just trying to be good guys. Uh, uh, we didn't know each other before before uh, uh, you know I jumped into politics. Obviously, I knew who he was. I don't think he knew who I am. Um, but uh, it, you know, look, we're just trying to focus on the issues uh, and have a civil campaign and let the public decide. And uh, that's what our democracy is supposed to be about. We count up all the votes, count up all the votes, and then we have an election, and then afterwards we move forward together. That's what uh, our country is supposed to be about. And I'm committed to that. Lieutenant Governor, um, if you end up winning this one, and they say that you're way ahead uh, on this one, if you end up winning, is there room for Mr. Peterson somewhere in your administration? <laughs> So I, I mentioned this actually in our debate that, that if he wins, that um, I would hope that I would have an opportunity to work with him. And that if I win, that we would have an opportunity to work together on issues that are important to him. And so, yeah, th there are opportunities for us to work together. And, and again, just like Chris said, that's that's the foundation of our country. Um, in the best of times, that's what we do. And especially in the worst of times, those are the times when we really should be coming together. Uh, that hasn't happened this past year. And uh, we're hoping that Utah can, can show a better way. Well, thanks for lighting the way with that radical message, guys. <laughs> best of luck to you on thanks, November guys. 3rd. Appreciate it. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.